Uh, honorable Deputy Speaker, uh, honorable members, do not take the previous speaker serious. She is guilty as the minister. She is one of those honorable Point members. Point of order. What are you raising, honorable member? Rule number 62B. Nilabaku Kambaka Tatan Balamanga Samoko and Kubanga take a shibuti sona. Honorable member, will you take a question? No. The answer is no. Proceed to the member. Thank you, honorable chair. This honorable member who just finished talking, she has been serving as a security guard to protect the honorable minister. Honorable members, let me explain, let me explain why. On a point of order. Yes, honorable member. The yes, member has member. just, on, I'm rising on rule 84. The member has just imputed the dignity of the honorable member, Kappa, that she's a security guard of the minister. She's an honorable member of parliament. Can you rule on that, please? Thank you. Honorable, honorable uh, Plewama. Uh, Honorable Deputy, I said she acted, she's acting like a security guard. <laughs> Honorable members, let me explain why the minister must be fired. The relation of duty and negligence, trust deficits and deficiencies of leadership. To stop this nightmare that is engulfing our nation, if the ANC does not want to fire this minister, minister, let me fire her right now. <laughs> Honorable minister, you are fired into our conscience and hearts of our people. <laughs> Honorable members, Minister Damini is the worst minister ever produced by the ruling ANC. This is a severe case of self-delusion when a minister decides to endanger the health and life of the vulnerable, vulnerable people in our society. Deliberately not abide to the constitutional court directives, simply provide arguments only designed to cater to one sense of the absurd. Uh, on a point of order, Chair. Yes, Honourable Member, what are you raising on? I just want to check whether is it parliamentary for a member of parliament to hallucinate. <laughs> Honorable uh, Blowama, please proceed. <laughs> Honorable Deputy Speaker, the question we need to ask ourselves is, who is benefiting from this dangerous self-made crisis? Why the minister is not even reprimanded by the president? Honorable Deputy Speaker, the pattern of Nganda and CAPS are the same. The same criminals are involved. I truly smell encroach, encroaching greedy fingers of the president in this deed. This minister is an ideological clone Honorable of member, the president. Honorable member, uh, the rules apply to the house. You can't say that of the president. You know you must, how you must do it. You know how you must do it. No, honorable members, you can't say the, the language he used to describe the president. Yes. So you withdraw that, honorable member? Honorable Deputy Speaker, can you be specific? Honorable member, you withdraw your reference to the president the way you addressed him. You do that. You said it, you know what you said it, you are reading it there, you just withdraw what you said. Honorable Deputy Speaker, can, yes? you, can you check Hansard? I have, I have heard you. I check Hansard for reasons that I give. I have heard you. You withdraw that, Honorable Member. Honorable Deputy Speaker, you have a choice I, yes. to listen to Honorable Mbata or to the presiding officer. Honorable Deputy Speaker, let me repeat what I said. I said I truly smell an encroaching greedy fingers of the Honorable President in the Honorable state. Member, withdraw that reference.
Point of order, Speaker. Rule 82 and Rule 84 is but very that's explicit. simple English. Uh, Honorable Mbata. Deputy Speaker. Yeah, Honorable Member. Will you withdraw? You, you just Deputy make a Speaker. choice. Just honor, you just make a choice, Honorable Member. Point of order, Speaker. Honorable Member, I'm addressing Honorable Plowama here. I'm expecting him to respond to me so that he proceeds. You've got 45 seconds, Honorable Member. Honorable Dipsky, let me withdraw. This department must be saved from her. No wonder why the ANC Women's League is such bad news. Honorable Deputy Speaker, when you listen to the minister's bogus arguments, you then realize that we are dealing with blunted fraud, extortionists, those who use public office for self-serving, self-enrichment. This is a better order. On a point of order, Chair. Order. What's your yes, order. Honorable Member? What are you rising on? Order. I, I, I'm rising on Rule 84. Yes. The member has just called the minister an extortionist. I think it is unparliamentary. It must be withdrawn. Please, Honorable Member, you know that. Honorable, Honorable, I didn't say she's an extortionist. It's an argument, Honorable Deputy Speaker. What's that? It's an argument. I'm putting forward an argument. I what didn't call her an extortionist. Honorable, Honorable Deputy Speaker, Speaker. Honorable Member, I'll come better. back to you. Honorable it will Speaker. come back to you. It's all right. Yes. Proceed. Okay, thank you very much. Honorable, Honorable Deputy Speaker, Speaker this is Honorable a betrayal. Yes, Honorable, please take your seat. Yes, Honorable Member, what are you rising on? I'm raising on Rule uh, 68, relevance or repetition. The presiding officer may order a member addressing the House to stop speaking if that member, despite warnings from the chair, persists in relevant or repetitive arguments. Thank you for reminding us, Honorable Member. Honorable Member, proceed. Deputy Speaker, can you remind the Honorable Member that we are here because of corruption? That is why we can't stop talking. Honorable Deputy Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, order. This is a betrayal. The arrogant elite will not stop until the country is bankrupt. The ANC is finished. We must stop it before our country is finished too. The ruling ANC and the Minister of Atawari Damini is playing games with the lives Honorable of our people. Honorable Member, your time has expired. Thank you. Honorable Gordy.